We have a one kilogram wood block that is pressed against a vertical wood wall by a 12 newtons force as shown in the figure. The coefficient of static friction is 0.5 for wood on wood. We can see in the figure that there is a 12 newtons force represented by a red arrow and there is a 30 degrees between the horizontal and the magnitude of the force. The block has mass, hence there is an attraction of the earth, there is a gravity force acting on the block, that's negative mg, that's represented by the blue arrow. We are going to break the 12 newtons force into components. The x component is negative 12 cosine of 30, because it's going to the left, and positive 12 sine of 30, that's going up. We see that we broke the 12 newtons into components. The x component of the 12 newtons force is pushing into the wall, but the wall is providing a support. So the box is not going to go into the wall, it's not, it's not trespassing the wall. That means that the summation of the forces in the x is going to be zero. But maybe if the mg force is large enough, the, the box is going to slide. Or if the y component of the 12 newtons is larger, the box is going to slide up, or maybe the box can help static. So first, it is important to calculate the Fs max. Both x forces in the Cartesian plane and add together, and this has to be equal to zero. The summation of the forces in the x has to be equal to zero because the acceleration in the x direction is equal to zero. We have that fn minus 12 cosine of 30 is equal to 0. I do some algebra and we know that fn is equal to 10.4 newtons. Now we have the normal force. With this information, we can calculate the fs max. I'm going to plug in the normal force into mu fn. And we get that fs max is equal to 5.2 newtons. So if the net force in the y direction, positive or negative, is more than Fs max, that means that our box is sliding. If the net force in the y direction is less than Fs max, that means that the box will remain static. Keep that in mind. Now I'm going to do the addition in the y direction, addition of the forces. I place the Cartesian plane and I have the y component of the 12 newtons force and the ne negative mg. They're, they're going in opposite directions, as you can see. But we have also the friction force. So I place my forces in the, in the component of the 12 newtons is 6 minus 9.8 that we calculate for mg, plus the friction force is equal to 0. For example, if we want the box to slide, in that case, the net force has to be higher than the Fs max. For this case, the, the force that we have is less. The friction force has to be up, going up, because it needs to be opposite to the net force. And we also realized that the friction force that we need is less than the Fs max. That means that we didn't reach the max force for sliding. Then this box will remain static 